I'm going to repeat the previous question, but this time I've just, all I've done here is I've just changed this from a positive to a negative. So they're both negative charges. I already know the answer. The answer is going to be positive 13 newtons because it, the last answer was negative. We multiplied a negative times a positive. We had a negative answer. Now we're multiplying a negative times a negative. We're going to get a positive answer. But let's just go through the motions here. Uh, I do want to draw what the field would look like when you have two like charges near each other. Remember that for negative charges, the um, arrows go in, but they repel each other, right? So it looks something like that. There'd actually be a lot fewer lines over here because this is a much weaker charge. Uh, I don't really want to get into that so much. I, I, I recognize it. And, uh, oh well. And this is a much stronger effect. This is a lot stronger, right? This is a thousand times, the micro is a thousand times bigger than nano. But all the same. They, my point that I want to make is that they repel each other. And when fields repel each other, that's what it looks like. They don't connect together like the previous problem. Uh, there is no field in the middle here. There's no field in the middle. Okay. So going over here and calculating uh, the force. Coulomb's constant is 9 billion. That's negative 3.5 times 10 to the negative 6. That's negative 7.1 times 10 to the negative 9. Again, keep your SI prefixes straight. Micro, negative 6, nano, negative 9. Divided by 4.1 times 10 to the negative 3. And then it's squared in the denominator. Whenever we're calculating forces using the raw equations like in gravity or Coulomb's law, the R is always squared in the denominator. When you calculate this out, you get a positive answer because the negative times the negative gives you positive 13 newtons, good to two significant digits. And that positive force tells us that it's repulsive. Okay. Done.